What is up guys, Jeremy here and welcome back to another Providence tutorial. I'm going to show you guys how to install ROMs into the application so you can play them and it, it's pretty damn fun being able to play these old school games. Now, uh, for your information, Providence does support a bunch of different gaming systems uh, ranging from Nintendo to Super Nintendo, uh, N64, PlayStation, Atari, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Sega Genesis, a whole bunch of different gaming systems. So in the description, I will leave a link which will show you all of the supported gaming systems that you can play within Providence. You might find that very useful just so you know which games you can download for which gaming systems. So like I said, the link for that is down in the description. Now, another little quick disclaimer, um, for this to be 100% legal, you must own a physical hard copy of the game to download the ROM. So a bit of a disclaimer there. Um, and the website that I'll be using uh, is ROMs Mania. This is the website I prefer. I've always had the best luck with this website and they have just about any game you could ever think of. Uh, so ROMs Mania, link for that will be in the description as well so you guys can easily click on it and download whichever game you're looking for. Uh, so from ROMs Mania, the way I like to navigate to um, the gaming system is go to the side menu here, go to ROMs, and it's basically going to list all of the different gaming systems. Uh, now I'm going to do it for Super Nintendo, so we'll just scroll down until we find the S's, and then we will keep on going until we see Super Nintendo. It is right there, so click on whatever gaming system, um, and then scroll down here, and it's basically... Uh, listed the game titles from the most popular downloads. Uh, so I do have a hard copy or a physical copy of Super Mario World. Uh, so that's the game I'm going to download. So once you've found the game you want to download, just click on it. And then you'll be brought to this page. As you can see, you can see the, the game art or the case art of that game. Keep on scrolling here and you'll see the green download button. Go ahead and select on that. And now the ROM will download. Uh, now this part can take some time, it can be very quick or it can be very slow. Um, I've mentioned this in other videos, it really depends on ROMs Mania servers, uh, also your cellular connection or your internet connection. But as you've seen, we got the pop-up here to download it, so we'll click on download. And then you can watch the download progress uh, from the downloads here. Um, within Safari, it's that little button, as you can see, it instantly downloaded. So it's running incredibly fast today, but this part can take two, three, four, maybe even more minutes than that to download. So be very patient. Uh, you will see a progress bar, you'll get the pop up and then you'll be able to watch the download. So just be patient. It really depends on a lot of factors. Uh, from here, we can go ahead and click on downloads and it's going to redirect us to our uh, files application on iOS 13. And as you can see, uh, it does show the zip file in our downloads uh, within the files app. So uh, if we go to downloads, here are some old downloads from other games. Can back out, go to the top one here. So there it is right there. So now we can install Super Mario World into Providence. So go ahead and open up Providence, click the little plus button in the upper right, and then you're going to want to select on cloud and local files. So go ahead and select on that. And as you can see, here are all of the different games that I have downloaded recently. So I'm going to go ahead and install Super Mario World, since that's what I'm doing in this tutorial. You can even browse this way, like I just was. So browse, you go to downloads. I think that's the one I actually just downloaded, judging by the time. Uh, but you can navigate for this, so we'll just go ahead and select on that one that I just recently downloaded. And as you can see, it does install the game, just as easy as that. From here, you can go ahead and launch the game and play it. And that is quite loud, but uh, there is Super Mario World. Of course, I can sit here and click through and begin my game. You have your on-screen controls, as you guys can see. It's really quite that easy. And that's basically how you install games onto Providence and play them. Uh, and that's me pretty much it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. Also, if you guys want to see more videos on Providence, check out that playlist link. It's down in the description. 
But anyways, this has been Jeremy, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.